Hi, Paul Slavkis, Good News Planet. The first major development in 20 years to help manage chronic kidney disease in patients at risk of progression with and without type 2 diabetes. We're speaking today to Dr. Uh, Neil Skolnick, MD, Professor of Medicine and Community Medicine at Sidney Kimmel, there's a great man, Medical College of Thomas Jefferson, another great man, uh, and uh, you know, I, my, here's my first question. A long time ago when Thomas Jefferson University was created, did people have the same kidney as they have now? It's pretty amazing, Paul. You are so correct. And what's amazing about it is they had the same kidney. They didn't even know they had kidneys. And now the issue is that we know we have kidneys, but when it comes to chronic kidney disease, which might be the most important disease that we don't know we have, right? That 90% of people who have chronic kidney disease don't know they have it. And that wouldn't be important if it wasn't common, but it's really common. One in seven people in the United States actually have chronic kidney disease and nine out of 10 of them don't know it. So very different than colonial times. Okay, colonial because of the knowledge that they don't, we can actually learn whether you have it or you don't have a disease. Yeah, so, so Paul, that's exactly right. So what's amazing um, is the progression in science, right, over time. And so now something that's serious, like chronic kidney disease, is something that we can diagnose early, and we can diagnose it really simply with a simple blood test and a urine test that your doctor can order. Okay, and should order annually? Um, I would leave that up to the physician, depending on the risk factors that a patient has to decide how often to order it. Now, there are certain, as I say that, certain risk factors, certain things that make people more at risk. So this gets more common with age. I, I said that one out of seven people have it if we look at the United States in general. But if we look at people over 65, 40% of them have it. Four out of 10 people, that, that's a lot of people. If you have high blood pressure, if you have diabetes, if you have obesity, all those things make you at higher risk and it's something you should talk to your doctor about. Uh, one more last question, then I'm gonna ask you about this great uh, new discovery. But every year I go for a blood test. The guy, my doctor Minatoli, I love 25 years. He, he, you know, bang, 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 bang. He, I mean, he goes through everything every time. So is that a standard uh, for, a, for a good doctor who's really taking care of you? Is that a standard question when you check the blood? You're, I'm, I'm going to take him blood and yeah. I'm giving urine. Sure, Paul, that, that's a great point. And first, let me compliment you on going to the same doctor for all those years, because it's that relationship we build with our doctor that gives us the most opportunity for the best outcome. Now, because there hasn't been anything new in chronic kidney disease in 20 years, it you may or may not be getting the blood test that looks for chronic disease, chronic kidney disease. And if you are, it might not be something that your doctor has talked specifically about or looked at that blood test and talked to you about. Because until recently, there just wasn't a whole lot to do about it. But things have changed now. I got a fatty liver and the liver, I think, is near the kidney. Is that right? Well, it's in the vicinity. It's sitting in the same body as the kidney, but it's uh, and, and it's right above the kidney. But they're very different organ systems. And while you're right, Paul, that that you know, liver and kidney are related. I would think of them as separate issues, separate risk factors. The things that give you fatty liver are different than the things, though some of them overlap, right? That give you fatty liver and chronic kidney disease. But I'll bet. If you're following your liver, you're getting the same blood test that, that is going to detect things with your kidney. Well, I'm going to check that today, but I also go to the doctor if I stub my toe. All right, so <laughs> my question is this now. So what is the good, great, wonderful AstraZeneca, fantastic, socially responsible, good corporate citizen uh, um, uh, company? Uh, what, what have we created here? Something good? Yeah, so, so it's amazing. Through years of research, it has culminated in the FDA approval of a new medication, Farziga, 
that actually slows progression of chronic kidney disease. And that's an incredibly important advance, which is why I've decided to partner with AstraZeneca in order to get the word out to help people be aware of chronic kidney disease. Now, we know no one medicine is for everyone. And of course, talk to your doctor. Talk to your doctor about, do you have chronic kidney disease? Talk to your doctor about whether or not Fersig is the right medicine, if you do, to help with it. And how does it, how do, I mean, it's uh, some kind of uh, research and development, which uh, a good pharma company like that uh, only spends maybe five dollars, yeah, five hundred million dollars trying to discover a better way to live our lives longer, and thank God for them. Uh, we need to respect that reality. Um, and then they finally come up with it after all these many, many years. How does it, how does it uh, 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 keep the uh, kidney uh, concern uh, at bay, let's say? So what's amazing, you're right. We are fortunate to live in an age of science where large companies bring people together, biochemists, molecular geneticists, all of that, to produce medicines that make a difference for us, that work on the kidney to slow progression of chronic kidney disease. You know, for more information, because we won't have time to cover everything, I wish we did, uh, people can go to farziga.com in order to get more information, to learn about chronic kidney disease, and to learn about this new medicine for Ziga that really can help for people who have kidney disease. It is spelled F-A-R-Z, I'm sorry, F-A-R-X-I-G-A dot com, F-A-R-X-I-G-A dot com. Paul, it has been such a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure speaking with you as well. Thank you, doctor, for doing the important work. You're a hero. I appreciate it. Thanks. Thank you.